Stay alive, baby. Do it for Van Gogh. Blue Velvet is a psychological thriller directed by David Lynch and stars Kyle MacLachlan, Dennis Hopper, Isabella Rossellini, and Laura Dern. And the film is about Jeffrey Beaumont, a man that returns home to his hometown of Lumberton, and on his way home one day, he finds a severed ear on the ground. He reports it to the police, and they start to investigate. But soon, he begins to investigate on his own finding a woman that lives in an apartment complex that may have ties to the severed ear. The woman he meets is a local nightclub singer named Dorothy Valance, who he discovers is having a horrible, horrible relationship with a man named Frank Booth, who is not only crazy, but also psychotic. And he might just be keeping Dorothy Valance's child hostage. Soon, Jeffrey learns that behind the facade of white picket fences and lovely lifestyles of the small town, that there's a darker side underneath. Blue Velvet, much like The Elephant Man, is very straightforward when it comes to its storytelling. What David Lynch has created here is a neo-noir thriller crime film. But there's much more that David Lynch has done here than just a regular crime thriller. David Lynch has stripped away the curtain showing us the deep underbelly and darkness that lies behind every small town. We see this in the beginning of the film. White picket fences, green grass, suburban areas, children playing, people at work. It shows us our ideals of the American lifestyle, but soon the camera pans down into the ground, showing all the oozing worms and dark things that lie underneath the grass and the ground. It's not subtle imagery at all. David Lynch does this deliberately to show that what we see as normal, everyday America is not at all what it seems. There is darkness in the world, and we're hiding it. And that's what Blue Velvet does. It strips away all the light and plunges us into the darkness. Throughout the film, we see horrific acts done left and right by Frank Booth, the villain of the story. Early on in the film, we see Jeffrey Beaumont inside Dorothy Valance's apartment, hiding inside a closet, peeking through. And he sees Frank Booth just do horrible, abusive things to Dorothy Valance. It's horrible stuff to watch, but what David Lynch is doing right here is giving us a taste. He is showing us through a peephole that these things happen. We don't want to think that stuff like this ever happens around us, but it's happening all the time. The film is beautifully made and very well acted. Kyle MacLachlan gives a very great performance, as well as Isabella Rossellini, and especially Dennis Hopper as Frank Booth who gives one of the most terrifying and scary performances I've ever seen out of anybody. Frank Booth is one of the most despicable, horrible, evil people I've ever seen on screen before. What he does on screen is just horrible, evil, dark, disgusting, and it's sometimes hard to watch. Dennis Hopper just gives such a great performance, and he's very believable in this role. He's probably one of the best villains ever put to screen. He's fantastic, but not only is he just evil, there are moments in the film, just tiny moments, where you don't exactly sympathize with him, but you see that he has a soft side to him. These are very minor moments in the film, but they do stand out and show that maybe deep down somewhere, Frank might be good. Or maybe not. It just, there's hints, there's hints of something else there. But the darkness just takes over him, and he fails to be anything but good. There's a segment in the middle of the film where Frank Booth takes Jeffrey on basically a night ride through hell. 
and it's just great and you see the gears turning in this man's head as he's just doing these horrible things and he knows he's doing it and he's relishing in what he's doing and he's having so much fun. Dennis Hopper is having so much fun and it's just great watching this stuff even with how horrifying it is and how hard it is to watch. It's a great performance and very believable and He's definitely the standout of this film. He is why the film works as it does. The film overall is still really good, but it's Dennis Hopper in his performance that really makes this film something different. And I really love that about it. David Lynch has done it again, making another just flawless movie. I can't really pick out anything that I don't like about the film. It's just very good and very well executed and perfectly paced too. I'm never bored in the film. It moves by very quickly. It's about two hours and that's not bad at all. It's just very good. And if you want to see it, I say do so. But know what you're getting yourself into first because this film is very dark and very disturbing and it might not be for everybody but it is a very, very good film. But with all that said, I give Blue Velvet a 10 out of 10. Well, David Lynch has struck gold again. I don't know if I like this film as much as The Elephant Man, time will have to tell, but I think it's a very, very good film and worthy of being seen by anybody that wants to see it. So anyway guys, that's all I've got to say about this film. My next film will be Wild at Heart, so look forward to that review. So anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review.